Hey, 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 it's Style Fix Juicy. Welcome to the studio. Monique Bradley here, happy to guide you through another style evolution. And I've got my lovely lady friend, as always. Welcome, Rachel Thompson. Hello. Nice to see you, my friend. She is an amazing mortgage broker. She's a yoga practitioner and teacher. She is a mum, a very hot grandmother, and a competitive athlete. And as always, we talk about fashion and obsess about online shopping. Am I right? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Is okay, this? so. This week's topic, we've been talking about trousers over the last couple of days. Yes. Let's go back to you. So you're a classic hourglass body. So if you haven't watched our shows before, we like to educate people about body shapes. We're the complete opposite body shape. And we want to give you guys the tools to be able to wear anything your own way. So, classic hourglass. Tell yes. me about your pain points when it comes to finding the perfect pants. Well, besides my shape, yep. it's also been my height. So ah. don't have particularly long legs. So for a long time I wore like a straight line or a flared yep. pant and it, and it took me a while to actually get into a fitted uh, pant at the lower leg. So as you can see with these jeans that I'm wearing, they're fitted all the way down. Yeah, <laughs> classic skinny pants yeah. here. But you've got them in a shorter leg length to yes. suit your legs. Yes. So what is your tip or trick to make your legs look long and luscious and pants that can make people look like they're wearing sausages for legs? <laughs> what's, your, what's your trick? Uh, nude coloured heels. Absolutely. All the way. It gives you length and it makes your legs look longer. One of the other things too, if you've got legs like me which have a little bit of muscle or we've both got a little bit of muscle in our legs, if your legs aren't that long but you want to elongate and feel supported, a really good wedge heel works for most leg types. Petites can look a little overwhelmed in a wedge heel, but if you're like us and you've got a little, little booty and a little legs, <laughs> heels and wedges are the key to making any pair of pants look amazing so first of course also of course we have to go to the stream and see who's watching yes hi maddie and first of all congratulations on your amazing weight loss we love you yeah really cool to have you on the stream and it's so exciting to see that you've gone from a size 18 down to a size 10 you really are incredible oh my goodness so that's that's been in a year that's fantastic. We're so proud of you. So, so yeah, lots of yeah. hearts your way. So we're going to talk through tonight a whole bunch of different pants styles and we're going to talk about the styles that work personally for us and also a few rules. So first important rule is, of course, should we be comfortable in our favourite pair of pants? Yes, you need some eating room. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, because so otherwise, true. yeah, it's going to be a long day. Absolutely, so comfort all the way. And in fact, all of the tips from tonight's live stream are actually already loaded as a blog article into my website, moniquebradley.tv. And in a week's time, I'll be releasing the ultimate guide to what you need for your wardrobe. So it's a way for you to have all the pieces you need on a really achievable budget. So yeah, make sure you sign up to the mailing list while you're on my website. Okay, so comfort is important. Yes. What about price? How important is price to you? It's huge because you don't want to go and buy a pair of pants that means you can't eat for the rest of the week. Absolutely. You know? So, uh, And they need to be reusable, like that you're going to use them over and over and pair them with different things like we do. Yeah. And make a completely different outfit out of one pair of pants. I so agree. So yeah. versatility is important. And when it comes to understanding how to wear those pants, knowing the cut that's right for you, your body shape and your leg length is the key to making that a success. The other rule of thumb that all we live by Lycra all the way. All day. Loving it. Yeah, totally. So for those of you who are trying to find the perfect pair of jeans without a little stretch in them, back away. Don't end up in a yeah, crying heap on a dressing room floor like I've done. <laughs> don't do that to I've yourself. Done it too. Right, I know. Yep, yep. So um, we're gonna talk first of all about how to find the perfect pair of pants when it comes to the rise. So did you know what a rise was in a pair of pants? I didn't initially, no, you know, but uh, you gotta try on a few bad ones to know what's a good one. Absolutely, and regardless yep. of your body shape, knowing the right rise for your body is the, the perfect place to start. So I've got a screen to show you the three different types of risers that you need to know to start your journey to find the perfect pair of pants. So a low rise, if you think of in the 90s, Britney Spears, MTV Awards, midriff top or just a, a little bustier or something like that with those low pants where the button is about two inches below the navel. That's a nice dream to have, but for most of us, like for me, my gut would hang out over the top. And that's just not pretty, to be fair. So low rise doesn't suit everybody. 
Mid-rise is the type of pants that both Rachel and I wear. Do you want to tell them about what it feels like to wear a mid-rise pant? Yeah, it feels like when you sit down, they, they don't slip off your butt. And that's important basically. too. Yeah. Yeah. And, like and particularly if you have a booty like I do, or you're a little flatter on the backside like yourself. Like me. Yeah. And also, yeah. also good if you've got a tummy too. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say, and if you've got hips and you've got a waist to cinch into, that most of my jeans are actually mid-rise, and, uh, and my, my dress pants as well, mm -hmm. whereas when you do have a more of a tummy, a fuller tummy, then again, there's not too much rollage. <laughs> rollage. <laughs> I love that. Or muffin top. Yeah. Or souffle. Oh, no. Yeah. But tasty souffle. No, a bit of orange. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now, for those of you who love the idea of being fully tucked in and you've got a teeny tiny waist, you can get away with a high rise pant. I've tried it several times, but because my waist is a lot bigger and my hip to weight, uh, my hip to height, waist. my waist to <laughs> hip ratio. Is not that different being a classic apple body shape. I can't wear high rise, otherwise I have to buy them two sizes bigger and then they're too big around my butt and around my legs. Mm. So if you're going to venture into trying a high rise and that basically means the distance between the waistband and the crotch is longer, go for something with lycra. Mm. Be kind to yourself. Don't be judgy <laughs> judgy. <laughs> But it's not the type of pants that's going to suit everybody. So if you've seen those young people who are wearing those really high-rise high kind of, they look like granddad's pants. Yes. Yep. Mutton dresses, land, my friends, just putting it out there. It doesn't work for me, but you know what? Fashion is what you make it. So if you put them on and you feel comfortable and you look amazing in them and you feel like you radiate, you go for it. Yep. You go, girl. That's all I'm going to go. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> It's anyway, um, Maddie's just said thanks, guys. Yeah, we totally applaud you. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to talk through basically the beginner's guide to pants to find out what sort of style of pants is going to suit you and your body shape. So first of all, classic hourglass. What sort of pants would you say you're wearing today? Uh, today is a mid-rise. Uh, they're definitely skinny. The, there isn't a lot of room for eating in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there is definitely... Lycra. A lot of lycra. Yeah. And I'm actually wearing the same pants. So mine aren't a denim. I've gone, so this is Rachel in her beautiful um, fitted jeans there. Where did you get the jeans from? Um, good question. House of G, maybe? House of G. Mm. Fabulous. Yep. Now, are these ones, they don't have a zip on the side? No. So what I would recommend is if you are going to go for a, a super skinny like this and it's really fitted, see if you can find some with a little zip on the side. It just makes popping your foot in there a little easier. Something. And Rachel's got a pair to show you right there. <laughs> Something a bit like this. Perfect. So uh, these are nowhere near as tight or as, as skinny and in actual fact are really high waisted. So they look kind of like my fat pants that I don't wear anymore. <laughs> but I actually wear these and I'm extremely comfortable and they're very dressy. But you'll see that they have a cool little zip on the side, which is a little bit difficult to see. But yeah. Yeah. And uh, they're way easier to get in and out of, just yeah. so. <laughs> That's the thing. And, and particularly for a cropped pant or a capri pant, if mm. they don't have a lot of stretch, you want to go for something with a zip down the bottom. And by the way, if you've just joined the stream, kia ora, it's Monique here, and this is my lovely friend Rachel. We're talking tonight about the perfect pants to suit you and your body shape and showing you examples from our own wardrobe with a complete opposite body shape. So I'm a classic apple body shape. Rachel is the complete opposite. She is a perfect hourglass. <laughs> and we have both had the same struggles trying to find the right pants to fit us. So we yep. thought we'd share with you what works and maybe give you a few ideas on what you can do to find the perfect pants for you. You can get the details of this live stream or the tips and tricks we're sharing on my website, which is moniquebradley.tv. It's a blog article that's loaded into the front page and all the screens you'll see in tonight's show, there's my website, are all loaded into the website with a few extra tips, things that we're talking about so that you can find out what's going to work for you. Okay, so you've got a beautiful, it almost looks like a cropped jean that you're, working, mm. you're wearing tonight. Really good for your legs. Yep. Fantastic. How do you find, because you've got a difference in the size between your thighs and your calves, Yes. how do you find finding pants with that? Uh, difficult, like especially because I'm much bigger in the thigh than I am in the calf, whereas uh, I find a lot of people who are a different body type to mm -hmm. me, often their calves and their thighs are a similar size, so it took me a long time to actually wear a fitted jean, right. but it's about the shoe that I pair with it, and so often true. it's wearing a nude coloured shoe, wearing a heel, uh, something that gives me a bit of lift because I am a shorter person as well. Perfect, so I'm yeah. trying to make my legs appear longer. 
Absolutely. Well. Yeah. Now, for some of you who might be like me, so I've got longer legs, but I've got a shorter torso, there's actually a pair of pants that's going to suit you. And these are actually my favorite pair of pants from my wardrobe. These are actually a classic man style or creased pant. So normally, if I was going to crease them properly, these would have a sharp crease or a pleat, uh, a crease down the front of each leg. What I love about these is when I wear them, they make my torso look longer and they actually make my body look more proportionate. What is great about these two, because comfort is high on my list, is we have elastication yes. in the waistband. There's no domes. These babies just pull up and pull right down again. These are the ultimate comfy pants. I got these from... Uh, Maru actually oh, they were right. on sale I got them for around nine dollars so really comfy pants and these will last me for ages don't have to be super expensive now normally I go for a skinny pant so it was really nice to wear a relaxed style of pant and I love a classic cuff on mm, the end yeah because it gives a little bit of interest and this is like a suit pant of the 1940s mm. that men would wear yeah. but works perfectly well for short waisted women like me or short torso women like me again if you've just joined us all the details of tonight's show are with all the tips and tricks are on my website minikebradley.tv okay so that's if you're a short torso kind of lady look for a classic pant with a classic sort of leg shape a cuff works really well team it up with a cute pair of heels and you'll look a million dollars okay Rachel yes you've gone for longer skinnies yes how do you find a capri pant I don't do capris. They make Why? my legs look even shorter. They're, yeah, and I think it's to do with the size of my thighs versus my calves. But right. when, when I wear yep. a capri, I look even shorter in the legs because I'm long body and short legs. Ah. So we're absolutely the opposite. The opposite, yeah. Too. And so I, it actually makes more sense for me to wear even a longer pant. Mm -hmm. rather, like this is probably as short as it gets unless I was to tie it, um, to roll up. The cuff on my jeans makes perfect sense yeah so the key to finding the perfect pants is really about the way you create the illusion of the leg line and the basically your body to leg ratio I can wear a capri or a ponty pant as they call them sometimes or a shorter a cropped pant but I would always wear them with a heel. Mm. So for you, if you were going to jump in and wear a cropped pant of mm. any type, you'd want to wear them particularly with a wedge yep. would work yep. really well for you. So your Absolutely. legs would look really stable. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So what else? You've, you seem to have a lot of the same sorts of I pants. I do. It looks the same, same. It does, doesn't they're it? They're actually quite different pants to wear. So they're... There's obviously my jeans I was Straight talking leg about, right there. which are a dressy jean. Like yep. they, on their own here, they don't necessarily look like that. But with the zip and the fitted aspect to them, they're really quite dressy to wear. Whereas Beautiful. I've got a classic pair of black jeans. So I got these from Country Road and I was saying to Monique, I wear these all the time, but I can dress them up with a pair of heels yep. and dress them down with some, you know, some chucks or something, yep. some Perfect. sneakers. If you were going to wear those with sneakers though, would you roll up the cuff to yeah. elongate the leg line? Yeah, I do. Yep. Because otherwise, it, it kind of my You'll leg feel and too my kind of stumpy. Ankle. Yeah, I do. I yeah. do, actually. So again, it's, it's about creating an illusion of looking longer. Yes. Perfect. And then over here, I've got some more skinnies, like the ones I'm wearing today, but they, of course, have lycra, but they've got a really nice sheen in. They've actually lost a bit of their sheen over the years, but these have a lot of lycra in them. So when I wear them, I always try and wear them with a, um, a long top because they're almost like tights at the uh, back. Yes. They're so sort of stretchy, and, yep. and there's not a lot of shape there in terms Perfect. of how they make my booty look. And also, so you don't want to show off all your lovely bits to nah, the world. You know, nah. you want to keep that for yourself. You want to keep some of that for, you yeah, know, at, at the home. Times, at home yeah. times. <laughs> and then and lastly, I've got a pair of dress pants. So Forever New, one of my favourite dress pants. Um, you can see they're very much a straight leg kind of pant. Um, I try not to have pockets because I don't need to add to the hips or the booty because that's where I've got more substance. Yep. Um, and again, even though they've got detail on them that looks like a capri or a dress pant, you know, a suit pant, um, everything's as smooth as I can get smooth it. Lines. Yeah, smooth lines. And that's particularly lines. good for you if you've got booty. Now you'll notice too in Rachel's pants they are all flat front, no pleats or anything like that because she doesn't want to add any bulk to this part of the body. Yeah. So if you are, particularly if you are um, hourglass or you might be a pair, the one thing you don't want to wear is a pair of um, balloon pants, harem pants, anything, drop crutch uh, pants. They will not make you look great. The only way you can wear them and get away with it is if you wear a really fitted tank or a fitted top to create contrast and give yourself a little bit of shape. These would be too overwhelming on your Yeah, mind. I've had a pair of pants like that. My husband's like, mm, that's a no, no from me. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I understand that. I understand that. I like because he wants to see the shape that's there. <laughs> and that's right. And this is about learning to love who you yeah. are in your amazingness and making the most of it. Yeah. So a tip from me, you can actually wear any pair of pants you want, but it's a, about what you pair with it to make it work for your unique style and for your unique body. So for example, I got told never to wear a straight leg pant. This is one of my absolute favorites. They're bright, they're my personality. However, I can't wear these with sneakers no. because I look too dumpy. The only way I can wear these because they're a beautiful bright color is with a really good pair of heels, the taller the better. And for me, because I am a little chunkier around the midsection, with a wedge, absolutely perfect. So one of my favorite pants, and again, any body shape can wear them. These are pretty neutral. There's no pleating there in the mm. front because I don't want to add anything to my tummy. Really nice pocket detail, fantastic. Yeah. I'd wear it with a shirt, I'd wear it with a t-shirt, and I'd always, always, always They're wear very it similar to my black pants, and perfect. I reckon yeah. I would wear those too. Yeah, yeah. They're even though we're completely different body shapes. So true. Yeah. And you said you've got pretty much the same pair of pants. I have the same pair of pants as Rachel, so um, mine aren't uh, necessarily, I've got skinnies on today, but these are more stove pipes. So what they do is they kind of hug your leg, but they're not super skinny around the ankle. So they make really nice dress pants as well. And that's why you can get away with wearing those in the office. Yeah. Perfect, I have the same thing. So even though these are jeans, I got mine from H&M, you can still wear them daytime, nighttime, dress them up, dress them down. I can even roll the cuffs up and wear them with a sneaker. Mm. Nice. So yeah, really yep. versatile. And then the other pairs of pants I wanted to show you guys, which we don't see a lot of anymore, but they still are out there. I got these from Kmart, the good old flare, or the boot <laughs> cut. So it's a smaller yep. flare, it's not a huge bell bottom. Boot cuts are great for those of you with bigger thighs because the boot cut at the bottom or the flare will actually give a little bit of an mm. illusion. You know, you might have teeny tiny ankles or you might have really muscular ankles and you don't want to show them off. So a good flare will actually create a longer leg line for you. Again, secret is the shoes. Yeah. And that so was make sure totally, you've got good shoes. That was totally the style that I used to wear before I went tighter. And, and I always felt comfortable because the bottom balanced out the, the top. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Nice. And when it comes to what you wear it with, well, there's so many options. We, of course, would highly recommend this beautiful bomber of jacket. Of course, yes. <laughs> From my website. Or the blazer. blazer. Liking that blazer. Does it come website? in a couple of colours? Heck, you sure it does. does. <laughs> we love it. Here's something we prepared earlier. Yeah, so it comes in, it actually comes in four different colours. You can check it out on the website. We love it. We wear this all the time. I love this because I actually wear it with my um, classic pants, which have got the same colour pink stripe in there. So I love that. Whether I dress it up with a really nice black um, cami or if I dress it down with a casual white t-shirt, I can wear it either way. Gorge. And it's a really cool look for Dressy Friday for a meeting, you know, yes. high society meeting. Yes. Or just a, you know, a casual, casual <laughs> high tea. drinks. <laughs> high tea if I want. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, one of the other pairs of pants I love to wear, but this is just because I love the pattern. They're not the ideal style for me. They do, however, make my legs look really long. I do love me a good relaxed pant. Mm. If you are smaller or petite or you've got shorter legs, you can look a little overwhelmed in this. You've got to have a big personality, I believe, <laughs> to wear these out in public. Technically, they're pajama pants, but I'm not judging myself. Yeah, I no love one's them. telling. I know, right? <laughs> and I love the fact that a good, a good a printed pant can work with something like a navy say. blazer or my pink blazer blazer or it can work with a classic t-shirt or a really lovely cami to wear out to, to a special mm, event. Nice. So you can kind of wear it a bunch of different ways. So having something which has a really cool pattern, particularly if you're going for a, a calotte or a palazzo pant, can work really, really well as a feature piece for your outfit. Mm, nice. And if you're going to be a little more economical and not go over the top like me, <laughs> I'm so addicted to shopping, then you can just go for classic black pants or classic denim like Rachel's been talking about tonight. And then, of course, top it up with something, if you want to cover up your beauty, something like this gorgeous kimono. Something else we prepared earlier. Yeah, Just available so. on the website, moniquebradley.tv. I have to say, this has been one of the best pieces we've had. We've both had in our wardrobe. You can dress it up, dress it down. You can wear it a million ways. And again, you know, whether you're wearing, team it up with those blue jeans or you can team it up, in fact, with my <gasps> green, green pants here as well. Having one really versatile kind of kimono or coloured pants or one really beautiful feature piece like that with a black cami again and black pants, dress pants, you can wear to the office or for a red carpet event. So it's about finding those key pieces, but knowing your body shape first is the key to success. So 
to sum it all up, because you know we could be here all night talking about fashion to the fair. <laughs> I've got some slides to show you guys. Now, as we're going through, if you're watching live with us right now, hi, if you're watching live, take some screenshots or go to my website, moniquebradley.tv, and I've got all of the tips and tricks about tonight's discussion already loaded as a blog. It's there on the front page. It's ready for you guys. Um, you can go and check it all out. And if you get lost, just send me an email. Happy to help out. So let's take a look at the tips and tricks. Which pants are best for you? So I'll start there with the boot leg on the left. The boot leg is amazing for you. It's These pants run straight from your hip to your knee. So they give you a little bit of space if you want to wear cowboy boots underneath. Really good for creating balance with your leg line and the boot cut is a great cut for everyone because it creates a long leg and balances your hips no matter what your shape or size. And the cargo. If you're a rectangle, choose a pair with pockets at the hip area to add curves. Not something I need, but it might actually work for Monique. Oh, so true. Uh, and have it below your waist because it makes your waist look smaller. Originally, they were uh, they were created to hold gear for the military, and you yeah. see the military wearing them, That's right? right? They're a really military style. These pants add weight to your bottom half. Yeah, kind of not something that I want to do. It's well, not. That's exactly right. But one person who made it work really well is Jennifer Lopez. Yes, yes she did. So she would actually load the pockets around her hips to accentuate yep. her hip size and make her waist look smaller. Nice, and hips and booty, right? Yeah. If you're an inverted triangle and an already balanced shape such as an hourglass, they, they can work. So it's right about finding that right style. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so what about the cropped pants? We already know they're not so great for Rachel, but they're my best friend. They're straight legs, they're also known as capris, and they can be hemmed actually anywhere from under your knee to right down to the, uh, basically around your ankle. Mm. So you can kind of wear them your own way. These are great pants for summer, and I love them with wedges. Mm, nice. Uh, the flared pants, so this was one of my faves. They run straight from the hip to the knee. They flare dramatically from the knee, so that helps balance the calf with the thigh if your calf's a little smaller. Flared pants draw your eye to the floor, makes for taller, leaner shapes, and other shapes, maybe not like my hourglass shape, may look unbalanced and shorter than they are. Wear yeah. with wedges. So true, Go so retro. true. Let's have a look at the next one. The low rise, well, unless you're Britney Spears or you've got a teeny tiny frame or you're a petite, it may not work for you. So the rise itself is the measurement between the crotch and the waistband, and we know that that's usually around two inches below the belly button and a low rise pant. What we, what we need to remember is that the top of the pants just hits above the hips. So bad if you have a belly, but if you've got a great midriff and you want to show it off or you're an inverted triangle, you go, girl. That's all I got to say about that. Awesome. <laughs> and then we've got the crease pants. So recognised by a strong iron crease, as Monique mentioned, with her black and white with the dash of pink pants yep. down the front of the leg. Uh, it can be a suit pant, a good fit for petite and small frames, and it creates that strong vertical line that will make you appear taller, and we all want that. We do, don't we? Yeah, we do. Fabulous with heels. Yeah. I'll tell you what, pointy Gorgeous. toe shoes with those. Gorge. Classy. Okay, next one. So this is the men's or the cuffed pant. So a step on from that, that traditional pant we saw, it's a straight leg pant, absolutely my favorite. I love it because that cuff is just kind of edgy, kind of makes me think of 1940s mm. pants with the brogues, you know, tap dancing kind of trousers. They can make your thighs appear longer and leaner and I think we all want that. Mm -hmm. Really good for your triangles out there and great for people like me with a shorter frame. Really good with heels, I wear them all the time, love them, and brogues, oh my god, love brogues as shoes, but remember, if your legs are shorter, go for a heel, not a brogue. Cool, palato. So they can actually add or hide weight, so most of us want to hide it, I'm just saying, putting mm -hmm. it out there. Could be mistaken huh. for a skirt, so that's quite nice, so you yep. get a different look, and then suddenly it's actually trousers. Yep. Extra wide flare, um, uh, often actually seen like that, and they fall easily over the hips of a triangle, and they can be a bit overwhelming on a petite frame, so you've just got to pick your patterns maybe, and wearing, of course, everything looks great with heels and wedges. Oh, doesn't it? Just saying. Yeah, doesn't yep. it? All right, next slide. Okay, skinnies. We're both fans. Yep. They just work. Yep. They just work for most people. You want to be careful though. You don't want them too tight, otherwise your legs can look like sausages about to explode. <laughs> so make sure you get the right fit. Don't try and undersell yourself into a smaller size. Just cut out the size tag. 
that you don't and don't ever look at it again go for the right fit and make sure that you get the right shoes to go with it so these pants were often called cigarette pants as well really hot in the 80s they've come back again and they do work with most people but just know what your tummy's doing as well so if your tummy's not looking super cute you just want to cover it up with a floaty top or something that's really going to balance out that skinny look um, sneakers yes but roll them up roll up those cuffs wedges and heels all the way all yeah. day and i'm just saying leave room for the eating and the skinnies yeah, so that's so about true. the rise isn't it it is about the rise it's about the rise because we want to make them fit and sit in the right place so you've oh, got room yeah. for food i like yeah, that always yeah. stove pipes they're a slightly tighter version i always think of these as musicians they are like musicians <laughs> yeah, i always pants. think of them as musicians pants stove pipes so they're slightly tighter version of a straight leg a leg so you're getting that little bit more fitting um but not to the skinny you know <clears throat> suck it in type of thing. <laughs> um, works for inverted triangles, hit at the hips, add a bit of weight to balance a strong shoulder. Wear with wedges or heels. It's fitter to the knee than it falls straight to the ankle rather than coming in like the skinnies does. And it's really good if you want it as a relaxed dress pants. So Rachel mm. has a couple of stovepipes. I've got a couple of stovepipes. I can dress them up for the office or dress them down with a pair mm. of sneakers. Yep. So Big yeah, five. but wedges or heels is the best. Yep. And finally, Straight legs, love them all day, every day. They actually suit most body shapes, but if you do have an extra curvy booty, you just want to be careful because you don't want to add any extra fullness around the tummy. So be careful of pleats. There's no taper, there's no flare. It will keep your legs nice and long, but you've got to make sure, particularly if you are a shorter, uh, shorter in the frame, that you actually have the longer, uh, the bigger shoes to make your legs look longer. So they do work, but you do need to know what to pair them with. So there you go, all the tips from us. I mean, that's so much. That's lots. I know, right? That was lots. I need of a cup of tea and I'll lie down. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll just have a bubble. Just oh, so. perfect. That'll do. <laughs> so if you want those details and you didn't grab screenshots, as we were going through, head to my website, moniquebradley.tv. We're about to release some more beautiful items of clothing in our everyday fabulous range, which is all about clothes, really, that we love to wear and share, right? Absolutely, and it's about being affordable. We want gorgeous. That's so true. We want affordable and yeah. some classy and a bit of fun, right? So we want to, we've basically worked to find the best products from around the world to bring them to you guys because shopping can be a real struggle. And unless you've got your own personal shopper taking you shopping all the time, Number one, you either lie to yourself or your friends lie to you. We're here to be honest. <laughs> just saying. Just putting it out mm. there. And we're here to show you guys that regardless of the garment, the garments that we're choosing can be worn on any body shape. It is how you wear them. Yep. Am I right? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what I just did then. I don't but it know, just... but it was like, we're telling you. It was. Just saying. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so head to the website and very soon make sure you sign up for my mailing list because very soon I'll be releasing that ultimate guide to what you need in your wardrobe without spending a million dollars. Plus, you know, just putting it out there, we might have some special discounts for people on the mailing list. Maybe. What do you think? Tune in. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> anyway, we've got more products coming to the website real soon. And if you like this video, please, please, please share it because we want to help other people around the world feel and look their amazing best. Okay, final tip of the week from you, Classic Hourglass. Uh, take someone shopping with you because yep. I'm actually a terrible shopper. Uh, this has been a whole new experience for me. I, often my most favorite things that I've ever bought, I've taken someone with me who has said, no way, do not buy that, try this. So I think that that's really important. That second opinion, it's a bit like the, can I sing? Oh, yeah, you yeah. You know, someone should have told them they shouldn't have auditioned. But, yeah. you know, maybe it's a bit of fun. This is not the fun kind of reality TV show that we're wanting here, just saying. <laughs> you know, so be kind to yourself. Have, have some, take someone that you trust and that you value their opinion of, because I think that's huge. And try different colours. Black is not always slimming. It can be really boring. So true. Yeah, and a little, you know, dash of colour, a print, the right one, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. And final tip for me is be comfortable because fashion only looks good when you're smiling from the inside out so when you feel good you're going to look better all right time to go okay we've done it smashed awesome. it out of the park all right see, see you guys next time bye. stay fabulous head to the website moniquebradley.tv thanks see for popping you. in guys mm -hmm. see you bye mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah